today we will be talking about force cis acting on a rear rear axle of a rear wheel drive vehicle so the first one would be weight so due to the weight of vehicle acting on just two points of the axle uh, the axle is a whole rod so the weight 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 of uh, the vehicle is acting uh, acting on only two points on front axle as well as rear axle so this causes shearing and bending of axle so let us see uh, this is the axle for example let me name it uh, this one is say okay sorry this one is say point p this one is say point q okay so p pq is the axle now the weight of the axle is concentrated on points a and points b due to the body now here on point p and point q there are wheel hubs so what the uh, weight of the whole body will be transferred to the wheel hubs and this wheel hubs will gain reaction of this forces at, uh, applied by the vehicle in in the form of rw1 and rw2 we cannot say that uh, this two forces will always be equal because if we take an example that if uh, there are uh, three way three persons sitting in a vehicle then the person sitting in the back might either be at the left hand or the right hand we 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 don't know it so this will be wt1 wt2 which can or cannot be equal and this rw1 and rw2 may or may not be equal okay so the second one is driving thrust what is driving thrust force developed at the ground level due to the torque of engine so the torque that is produced in the engine is ultimately uh, uh, you know pro- uh, delivered to the wheels which are uh, which are attached uh, which are on the ground now when this wheels try try to uh, move say let's say this is the wheel and this this is the motion so it would try it would it would create a force in this side and let's say that the opposite reaction is this this f and this is r so this r is called the driving thrust which is created by the suspension of the vehicle you know so uh, let me ex- uh, explain this more in more detail so for example there are just uh, there is just a set of wheel so when when you push it or when you drive it with the help of, of a vehicle ex- assume that it is self balancing when you uh, drive it with the help of a motor and uh, it would be it would not have any other uh, body or anything to move it so it would just move with the help of its own inertia now for example the whole Uh, the whole car has a body and this body is just driven by two wheels which is in in the our case is the rear wheels now the rear wheels have different inertia the whole body has different inertia so the axle will what will it try it will try to move ahead by itself and the body will try to stay due to its inertia and this causes driving thrust this driving thrust is controlled with the help of members called radius rods this radius rods are attached to the chassis and uh, one of the end is attached to the chassis and the other end is to the axle the third is the torque reaction and the brake reaction now what is torque reaction now we have seen in the our previous videos that there is a differential in the rear wheel drive vehicles so what happens is as we talked about in the previous point about the inertia now let us say that the wheels do not move initially now if the wheels do not move then what would happen differential would not also move but this would cause the pinion to climb above the crown wheel so this would create a torque reaction this would uh, you know if we if you have seen that many of the vehicles when the initially they are uh, uh, started when they start the motion they are lift, they lift their nose and this is due to torque reaction and this and the opposite is due 
brakes it is the, uh, the opposite is the brake reaction that is when the when we apply the brakes then the pinion will try to climb down the ground so this is the brake reaction we can see it here so assume that this is the body of the vehicle and torque reaction acts in this is the front this is the here and let me draw a redraw it this is again the front this is the here in torque reaction the nose will lift and in the brake reaction the nose will dip okay and the last force is the side thrust now what is side thrust uh, let us assume that the vehicle is running in a straight line so all the four wheels are at just the camber angle which, uh, which we have uh, set or let us assume that they are that is no camber angle uh, or caster angle it is in a straight form so it is normal to the ground in a straight line motion now when we either uh, when we either turn left or right which is uh, in engineering terms or in general terms also it is known as cornering so du during cornering what happens that the body tends to uh, shift uh, that if you are uh, your friction force tends to uh, move the vehicle on uh, either side which you want to move and the body wants to move straight so this would create a uh, force on the wheels so this wheels would turn would try to rotate on its own axis so this would uh, for example if you are uh, cornering uh, cornering right okay so what would happen the body would shift this uh, this side for example this is the front okay this is the front we are looking to the board this is the front the body is turning to the right so what will happen you would move this side so you would move this side so the wheel would also move this side so this is cornering right and the opposite is cornering left okay i hope you have got my points and these are the few uh, these are the points i would suggest you to pause the video and take a screenshot of this for your few future uses thank you